Matt in Cincinnati, Ohio writes to me, Hey, Paul. Hey, Matt. My poor brain needs your help. <laughs> Sorry about that, Matt. If you're at the point where Paul has to help your brain, I think you're in trouble, but, but we'll give it a try. All right. All these years of being deeply ingrained into the reproduction of sound, I still get excited to feel, but baffled in my understanding of exactly what bass is. My mind can't fully comprehend something that is invisible to the eye, but so physical. I understand pressurized air, but lack an understanding of how a woofer can move air so hard that it's felt inside of your chest. Is bass created by slamming the air inside the subwoofer cabinet or by slamming the air outside of the cabinet? Is it more like the concussive pressure wave from a bomb exploding? The filling of a vacuum in the atmosphere after a strike of lightning? Or something else? Well, yeah, I think, I think you're I think you're overthinking this. <laughs> a woofer is an air compressor. And the bigger the woofer, the bigger the piston that is compressing that air. And if it happens quickly enough, that pressurized air can definitely be felt in your chest. I mean, we've all had that. You listen to a high-end system, and you can hear that boom, boom, boom. That comes from that piston, that, that, that woofer just pressurizing the air, sucking, pulling, you know, going back and forth. And yeah, that's exactly what's happening. It's, I, I, I always like to think of it more as a piston rather than a, a, a woofer because we, we see it move at 20 hertz, at 30 hertz, and it's, you can see it vibrating back and forth, but it, it's a small thing in a big room. How can that be? something that we actually literally feel. I mean, sometimes the bass in our room up there, it feels like my pant leg is flapping, for sure. And that's a, I, you know, I love it, that ba-boom, ba-boom. And if you were in a room, and maybe you've been in a room, I, I certainly as a, as a recording engineer, I, I've had it happen a few times, but if you've been in a room with a big drum, just think, uh, like, w we had this massive drum over at Octave Records. I mean, w we had rented it. And, you know, a guy's, go you know, wham, hitting on this thing. And it, too, is like a piston. Instead of the woofer piston where you have a magnetic coil that's moving back and forth, you got a guy with a big mallet. I was going to say sledgehammer, but a big mallet, and he's whacking on this thing, and it's pushing the membrane of the drum and exciting the air, pressurizing the air in the room, and you you feel it. And the same thing is happening in a woofer. So it's just that simple. Pressurized air as a piston. I hope that helps. You get your brain unwound here. <laughs> All right, Matt. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.